Snoil is the best card in the game, but she will never be nerfed, and this is because you are using her wrong, like 99% of other people. Snoil is 3 cost 2 attack 3 HP legendary card, with haste and a very unique magic effect. When you play her, she will paralyze a monster and will also apply a sort of mark to the monster. If the monster dies before the end of the turn, Snail will level up and go back to your deck. At level 4, she gives you Snowgrave, which is the most powerful spell in the entire game. Ok, cool. But isn't Snail simply one of those agonizingly slow cards that compensates for this with a lot of power? Snowgrave is great, but Snail can't reliably get it in most matches. Stop! Fucking stop! So she has a great niche in stall decks where she really shines, this is why she's a good card. But how does she break the game? The big secret is that Snoil is actually a decent card without the Snowgrave. In fact, Snoil has the most utility out of any card in the game. She has great defensive stats, she's good versus fast decks because she's a cheap haste monster, she's good versus midrange decks because of all time paralysis can give you loads of tempo, and she's good versus stall decks because, alright, oh Snowgrave. And this completely breaks the game, because Snoil is a type of card that's referred to as tech cards. Tech cards are counter cards. You put these cards in your deck not because they help with the main goal of the deck, but because they cover certain specific weaknesses. So let's say your deck is weak to aggro. Well, you can put a big mouse in your deck and you will have better odds. Big mouse is an anti-aggro tech card. So why does this matter? Because there's a very important rule about tech cards. They compensate for the good matchups versus specific things by being below average versus other things. Big Mouse might help a lot versus aggro decks, but it comes at the cost of having a 5-3-7 that kinda doesn't do much in other matchups. They suffer from a bit of over-specialization, some less, like Big Mouse, and some more, like Receptionist 3. Snow is also a tech card, because she counters enemy defensive decks really badly, to the point where she is sort of a win condition on her own, but unlike other cards that cover specific weaknesses, Snow is great versus everything. The three of her effects make such a perfect synergy that this card has almost no weakness, while by design she should, and that's why Snow is the best card in the game. Ok, sure, but if Snow is so good, why isn't she getting nerfed? Actually, what's that about everyone using her wrong? The reason everyone uses Snow wrong is because she actually has one weakness. Her effects form a perfect synergy, but there's a problem, you can't get all of them at the same time. And this is the main trap. Most people will gravitate towards the effect with the most raw power, which is the Snowgrave. After all, without Snowgrave, Snow is just a 3-2-3 haste paralysis, and it doesn't look powerful. So people tunnel vision on Snowgrave in their games, even if it's clear from turn 0 that they will not be getting it. Snow can also be difficult to use. Level her up once, you have to basically waste 3 gold and a card from your hand, and you also put a card in your deck that will require you to do the same thing. This potentially ruins a draw. If you're not careful, the loss of momentum can easily snowball into a loss of a game. And people even in the legend rank are doing this in faster games, where they most likely won't even get Snowgrave. Snow is a broken card, but she's kept in check by her depth and complexity. There are many other things about her that I didn't mention in this video, and I don't think I can even make a full guide on her without it being obnoxiously long. Even the best players don't always know how to play her perfectly, but just remembering that Snow herself is an actual card instead of just a vessel for Snowgrave will instantly put you above most of her users. The card with the most potential also requires the most skilled master, and I just think that's what makes Snow the perfect card.